Hi and welcome back. This is Omid Rahat, otolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon. In today's clip, I'm going to demonstrate to you a four-year-old girl with a long-standing tracheostomy. She has recently noted excessive bleeding from the, the stoma and also difficulty in changing the tube. As you can see, there is a large granulomatous growth at the anterior wall of the trachea surrounding the stoma. Child is anesthetized on the operative table lying supine with the surrounding of the stoma being thoroughly infiltrated with adrenaline. This uh, would reduce the chance of bleeding when we resect this granulomatous growth. While we are visualizing the lumen of the trachea, we hold the granulomatous lesion through the stoma from outside and pull it out and then cut the lesion using a number 11 sharp knife. The excision of the lesion needs to be done as soon as possible as the child is not intubated and is prone to hypoxia. Once the lesion is cut out, immediately the tube is replaced and the child is ventilated through the tube. We need to make sure that there is no excessive bleeding causing aspiration for the child and if that is done then the surgery is over. Thank you once again for watching this clip and stay tuned for future upcoming videos.